actually, in the course of this Defexpo, coined the phrase born in Bharat. There is enough talk about made in India and so on and so forth. Now, there's a difference between something which is made in India and something which has been homegrown. So, in effect, homegrown is a difference between being able to make every single part and knowing why exactly something is in a certain way inside your weapon and why something is performing in a certain way. So, uh, as far as Indian content in all of our systems is concerned, 100% in terms of design, we own all the intellectual property we have patents applied for on our weapon systems. Uh, as far as local content is concerned, we are almost hitting the 85% mark in terms of uh, cost. That is a significant positive for us. The only thing which is actually stopping us from going all the way up to 100 is essentially the fact that certain items do not make sense commercially because they're very easily available off the shelf. For example, magazines, we don't manufacture them, we just get them off the shelf and integrate them. Manufacturing certain parts uh, in this particular regard will continue to be outsourced or uh, in some cases imported as well. But 85% local content is where we are today. And uh, are you participating in any of the Indian Army tenders for uh, rifles? And the thing is this, right? The Indian Army has been now moving very clearly towards the Make in India model. There is absolutely no doubt about the fact that pretty much every acquisition going forward in the area of small arms will be a um, Make in India product. So, starting from 2017 onwards, we've been interacting with the armed forces. Uh, some of our upgrades have already found their way into service. We're hoping that some of our systems will also find their way into service in the course of the coming few years.